The Eclipse seat height can be increased or decreased depending on the chair configuration. Begin by removing all of the chair accessories, including the front rigging, the seat cushions, the armrests, the wheels, and the backrest. To vary the front seat to floor height, remove the two half inch bolts located under the frame that connect the upper frame to the lower frame. Refer to the configuration drawing for the spacers, washers, bushings, and bolts required to achieve the desired front seat to floor height. Most configurations have a half inch spacer below the lower frame and a one inch spacer immediately above the lower frame. Remove the half inch fastener from both sides of the chair. A long wrench or socket wrench may be required to produce enough torque. Supporting the upper frame may help with this procedure. At this point, you should be able to freely pivot the upper frame relative to the lower frame. Note the difference between the shock absorbers and the spacers. The spacers are hard plastic and matte, while the shock absorbers are pliable and glossy. Insert the spacers and shock absorbers in the configuration required to obtain the desired seat height. Reinstall and tighten the half inch bolt. Repeat the procedure on the other side and ensure that both sides match. The rear seat to floor height can be varied by changing the wheel size and by moving the bolts at the rear of the chair. With the front seat to floor height set, remove the screws at the rear of the chair and pivot the upper frame to the desired rear seat to floor height. With the holes lined up in the desired configuration, reinstall the screws and torque to the specification.